BlackFacts.com presents Black History Heroes Harry Belafonte Harry Belafonte, by name of Harold George Belafonte, Jr., American singer, actor, producer, and activist, who was a key figure in the folk music scene of the 1950. Especially known for popularizing the Caribbean folk songs known as Calypsos. He was born on March 1, 1927, New York City, New York, U.S. Belafonte's parents was emigrants from the Caribbean islands of Martinique and Jamaica. When his mother returned to Jamaica in 1935, he joined her, living there until 1940. He left high school to serve in the U.S. Navy in the mid-1940s. After returning to New York City, Belafonte studied drama at Erwin Piscator's dramatic workshop. In 1950 Belafonte became a folk singer, learning songs at the Library of Congress's American Folk Song Archives. He sang Caribbean folk songs as well, in nightclubs and theaters. His handsome appearance added to his appeal as a frequent performer on television variety programs. With hit recordings such as, Deo, Banana Boat Song, and, Jamaica Farewell, he initiated an ad for Calypso music and became known as the King of Calypso. In the mid-1950s his Harry Belafonte and Mark Twain and other folk favorites were the first of his series of hit folk song albums. During this time he made his Broadway debut, appearing in the musical John Murray Anderson's Almanac, 1953-54. For his performance, he won a Tony Award for Supporting Actor. In 1953 Belafonte made his film in Bright Road, playing a school principal. The following year he was the male lead, but did not sing, in the musical Carmen Jones. The film was a huge success, and it led to a starring role in the film Island in the Sun, 1957. He produced the film Odds Against Tomorrow, 1959, in which he starred. He also starred in the TV special Tonight with Belafonte, 1959, a review of African American music. Belafonte won an Emmy Award for his work on the show. Belafonte then took a break from acting to focus on other interests. During this time Belafonte continued to record, and his notable albums include Swing Dat Hammer, for which he received a Grammy Award for Best Folk Performance. In 1970 he returned to the big screen and acted in some notable films. Throughout his career, Belafonte was involved in various causes. He was a supporter of the civil rights movement and a close friend of Martin Luther King, Jr. Belafonte was active in African humanitarian efforts, notably appearing on the charity song, We Are the World. In 1987 he became a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. He received the Jean Herzholt Humanitarian Award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 2014. Uh, our kids, those who languish in the prisons of America, are waiting for us to change the system. 